Super Mario, the Thousand Year Door. So what's the special move? Let me see it. With the deadly dragon hook tail defeated, the citizens of Petalburg would rest easy once again. Koops even reunited with his long-lasting father, who he thought was dead. And yet despite victory in the castle, the princess Peepsy's whereabouts were still unknown. Where could she be? Yes, it seems Mario's adventure has only just begun. Alright, it's safe. It's doing an auto-save for us. I made me a drink, by the way. Wakanda? Hey, she got captured. You know, I'm not surprised she got kidnapped. Oh, great, exile gorgeous. We bought the princess. Beast, 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 beast. You ordered, sir. Well, shiver me timber. She's got kidnapped. You better use that powers like Princess Peach in Showtime. Wait, that was 13 years. This was made 13 years ago. I'm tripping. Well, 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 my pet. Isn't it about time you told us where the map is? Oh, Princess Peach. You will speak when spoken to. I ain't gotta speak to your freaking Merlin looking wannabe looking big old blooper tail. Look, I realize he's dead because he's got technology as a brain. So, he's being used as mach his, his whole components are replaced with machinery just to keep him running. I'm telling you, I don't know. There's no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. We know. Trust me, it's very much in your interest to be absolutely honest with us. We x knots are not all rainbows and lollipops, I assure you. We're quite nasty. Yeah, you haven't bathed in six weeks. Wakanda. Gorda, sir, I have news. Report at once. You know that crystal sword we thought that maybe Hucktail had? Well, someone nabbed it. What? What did you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars? And they defeated the Hucktail creature, you say? Speak, soldier. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. There is more to it. See, according to the report, let me give him an AI voice. Let's make this more interesting. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. There's more to. See, according to the report, it was a mustache dude in a red hat and blue overalls who pulled the job. Mario! Princess Peach. Excuse me? Mario? Oh, no! <laughs> so you know this Mario, do you? Hmm. This fool matters not at all. I'll know all about him before long. That, I promise. <laughs> I grow bored of talking. Take <laughs> to the holding room. Yes, sir. <laughs> and men, take good care of the princess. <laughs> Understood? She is not to be home. <laughs> you got it, sir. Wakanda. Whoa, Lord Crump, and I ain't talking about dancing. If this Mario character has the map, then it is highly likely he'll show up where they're hunting crystals. Star Boogly Woods. You must return there immediately and haste the research. It must not. What's up? Oh, sure. Yeah, sure. Roger. Gorgeous. And with that, pow, I'm gone. This boy I'm talking to him. I wonder if Lord Crump there is a little... If sending Lord Crump there alone is wise, he's a bit out there. <laughs> That's not! I summon you! Uh -oh. hey, hey. <laughs> you rang dude! I mean, sir! You rang sir, Gordas dude, Gordas, uh, sir, dude, Gordas, sir, dude, sir. Shut up! And get the three shadows over there! <laughs> the three shadows, sir? But they. I don't care how you plan to end that sentence, fool! Go get them now! Gotcha! They all got on Timberlands. The Honorable Gordas has need of us. Then we arrive without delay. <laughs> Pray tell, did the princess tell you where the map is? It seems some poor fool named Mario now has possession of the map. This wouldn't have happened if you had kidnapped Princess Peach 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 when you were supposed to! It wasn't my fault, truly. The town square had too many prying eyes. Too many. Besides, she was soon joined by some old fool of an attendant. Such a fussy focus. Worry not. All we need to do is find this Mario and steal the map, yes? 
<laughs> Indeed, that is your duty. <laughs> Must I remind you that map is vital to the X not plan. I will have my men prepare all available information on this floor. <laughs> For now, hear me, Melda. You three shadows must take care of this troublemaker. <laughs> Fear not, sir. I built him. Shall return with him. Let's go, my lovelies. Marilyn. Dean. Come. We got a job. <laughs> Why not make her sound like Bionty <laughs> from the mini-ish cap of Legend of Zelda? <laughs> I pray it's Princess Peach Peach Peach. Oh dear, here we go again. I can't believe I'm kidnapped again. Everyone must be worried sick again. Toad's words having a cup of tea. But, hang on a moment. Where in the world am I? Anyways, it's so unfamiliar. I wish I could at least let Mario know that I've been caught. I play as Princess Peach. That girl can open stuff without using her hands. Looks like my scum is sparkly clean. How oddly considerate of them. Dang. Well, someone did a thorough job in cleaning this. They said, even though she's a princess, she's gonna be prison, but she's gonna be treated like a princess. Crazy. What a lovely shower. No scope scum, even. Wow, I wonder if it works. She about to take a shower? She's about to take a shower after getting kidnapped? I feel like a new princess. Why are you blushing? All you did was take a shower. She legit took a shower. Well, at least we know Princess Peach keeps up on her hygiene. What was that? Hey, how odd. The door opened by itself. How do I keep making these doors open? How odd. I don't know. Maybe you got some type of special gym? Oh. Oh. What's she thinking? Oh, we got an AI voice again. I got you, I got you. Let me um change up my voice real quick. Hello, Princess Peach! Huh? What? Who said that? Where are you? How amusing. I am right here before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am the Tech XX. Many call me Tech, you may. So our Gord has created me to be a perfect computer. One that is flawless in its reason. Gordis, wait! He's that awful, dome-headed thing who interrogated me, right? Sir, Gorgas is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. Well, that's what you're programmed to say. Well, I don't think so. But I don't, I'll change your mind. So I'm wondering, why did you leave me in here? An unusual program of deputation accorded when I observed you just after you were brought here. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. Also, an unidentified impulse sped through my processors. These events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I read a diagnostics program, and their solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. Such a compulsion has no precedence. Cause unknown, I, the perfect computer. I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I let you here. Wait, did you just say you want to observe me? To know more about me? Could it be that you? Was he the thing that was like the merchant saying open the box? No, impossible. It can't be. You're a computer. What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, I couldn't really because it's just too weird. Please tell me. Please. I'm the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should not be anything that I do not understand. Please. Well, you know, maybe. It's impossible that, well, you're in love with me? Mm. Love? What is love? I cannot compute this. Wait, you don't know what love is? Love? How do I stand this? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It's also putting your needs before yours. Giving up things for nothing in return. Caring about somebody. Truly cherishing those moments and those unique times together. There are so many ways that love can be described. It's also a choice. It makes you feel happy. 
Just seeing that person happy, smiling, having fun. Oh. When you love someone, you will do anything to help when that person is in trouble. Happiness. Fun. I have definition for these words, but my programming is insignificant. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I'm a perfect computer. Comprehend. Love. Love's not something you comprehend, Tech. Huh? You feel it. Machines don't have emotions. Princess Peach, will you teach me to feel this thing you call love? What? You're a computer! Why would you care about love? I'm perfect. There must be nothing that I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love. Please. If you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But of course, I am unable to grant such a wish as letting you escape. I cannot believe this! You ex-jerks kidnapped me before I could even begin to enjoy my vacation! And now you call me in here and ask me to teach you the meaning of love? I should just spit on your screen! You grant my wish! Ha! Why should I believe you? I understand you are angry. That emotion I comprehend. You need not to teach me now. But I must learn this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. This is why if you would just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. Do you understand me? Princess Peach, 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 Peach. Now, tell me your wish. Are you sure? Oh, okay, here it goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner the better? Yes, of course you may. Use my communicator to send wireless mail to anywhere you want. If you so wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Use the recipient address and message. You mean this keyboard? Alright, let me give it a shot. She's just pushing buttons. Okay, it's ready, Tech. Could you send it? The message hasn't been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you again when I want to ask you something. Oh, okay. Then, good night. Good night, Princess Peach. That's really interesting. Now we got Bowser's castle? Did we send a message to Bowser? Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no freaking way we sent a message to Bowser. The king of the Koopas. <laughs> Get the classic voice. Bowser, the mighty Koopa King, has arrived. Hold your applause, minions. But now that I'm here, Chambi, you crusty old hag, why did you summon me? Uh, great Lord Bowser, the, uh, crusty hag Cammy Cooper will lie momentarily. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait at the rear of the room. I play as Bowser? So the other day, I saw Lord Bowser gazing longlessly, longly, at a photo of Princess Peach. Um, you may not, you, you may want to put a cork in it, man. Well, I tell you. The look on his face when he was mooning over that thing, huh? Yeah! Little Lord Bowser! <laughs> well, I'm dying to hear the rest of your hilarious story, Mr. Comedian. Do sure! <laughs> ah, Lord Bowser! Come back! He out of breath already. Huh? Huh? I just now returned. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. I bet that you are Cammy Cooper. Now out with it! Why have you called me here? Please, your grumpiness. Don't be so impatient with your poor servant. Ahem. It's my displeasure to report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Rogue <laughs> And I'm Mario's babysitter? I don't care about what he's doing! Are you going to call me every time that guy blows his nose or something? Right, sheesh! Yes, well, you see, my lord, apparently Mario's hunting for an amazing treasure. <laughs> huh? Treasure? Yes, Mario has gone in the search of the star-shaped jewels known as the Christmas Swords. I'm researching just what they are, but there's no question of their high value. <laughs> Christmas stars, you say? They sound like a world conquering tools. I want them. <laughs> yes, very good. Continue researching this for me, you brainly hag, you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. By the way, Lloyd Bowser, do you like fried eggs? Let's just say, sir, do I? <laughs> I love fried eggs. Love them, but. What a weird question. Why do you ask? Well, during my Mario record, I stopped at a lovely place called Petal Metals. Look at him laughing. I was planning on taking, taking everyone there for a picnic, having some eggs and toast. 
Of course, I wouldn't think of sending out invites without asking you first one, Bowser. <laughs> Look at a picnic. Get serious. This is no time for fun. See, this is why my evil plans are always derailed because of your clouds always goof off. Oh dear, Lord Bowser, please calm down. Remember your blood pressure. What's that? What? Is this true? Lord Bowser, terrible news. Some old fool abducted Princess Peach and wrote for it. <laughs> what? Tell me you're lying, Cammy. Where? When? Where? Who would do such a thing besides me? I'm afraid we don't have that information quite yet. The investigation's going on. One more thing. Now, one thing is most certainly confirmed, however, the princess has been kidnapped. Under no circumstances! Is anyone allowed to kidnap her without my say-so? I will not stand for this! I'm going to Rogue Port now! I gotta kidnap her back! Why didn't you just use the door? Ness, wait up! Now who's gonna repair that? And off he goes with the Wizard of Oz. Coof, my lad, are you telling me that you're going with Mario? Um, that's right, Dad. I'm going to continue traveling with Mario. And then I'm, well, I'm going to come back. A strong Koopa like you, Dad. Nicely said, young Koops. That's my boy. <laughs> but always remember this. You are my son, Koops. And I am your father. Coops, my sweet. I'll be right here waiting for you to prove yourself. That's his girlfriend. <laughs> well, just add, if anything happens, you can always come home, Coops. Forget that. This is... This village will always be your home. Okay, thank you, everyone. Well, I'm off. I'm sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. You know, farewell, so... Where are we going? Is that back to Roper? Remember, Mario? Remember the magical pack before the entrance to the thousand year door? And the swords will light up the way the lace of the stones of yesterday. And it didn't stop there. The stone of yesterday shall shine and point towards to the next line. That's what the book says. Which means if we take the crystal storm we found back to the thousand year door. So that means the location of the next crystal storm will appear on that magical map. Exactly! Come on, let's go! So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Okay, Mario, you ready? Let that crystal storm up. There you go. We added one of them out of the seven. We still got like seven more chapters. Holy cow. And by the way, y'all did crush the light goal. I asked for 30 likes. Y'all got it to 40. Plus, and shout out to everybody that is still at the end of this. Like, dude, y'all are the real ones. See, this is why y'all are the goats. Do not timestamp this in the comment section because y'all are the main reason why y'all are the OG members of the Scott Letter Wicked channel. Y'all stay to the end. And I love y'all for that. I really appreciate it. People like y'all keep me motivated to keep to keep doing YouTube. Okay, let me just make sure that I'm still recording on everything because audio does cut out sometimes, abruptly. Yup, I'm still going. I have been almost recording for four hours straight. This is insane. Okay, so the next story has been recorded. What you gotta say? Oh, check it out, Mario! The location of the next door has appeared! But I have no idea what that is. Okay, I guess we ought to show the map to Professor Frankly. Oh, we gotta go talk to Cletus. I see, I see. Crystal clear. Yeah, great point! Come on! Now where's the next star, Professor? It's in the Boogly Woods. The second crystal star is inside a great tree there. A great tree? In the Boogly Woods? Okay. About those woods, I think some odd creatures live there. If my memory serves, there's a pipe beneath the town that leads to those woods. By the way, Professor, I'm not Princess Peach 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 Peach. Not long ago, Mario received an email from her. It says that the people who kidnapped her are some 
looking for the crystal source. Oh, and the worst part, she said that she doesn't even know where she is. Uh oh, the beats, 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 beats kidnappers are also looking for the crystal source. What could they help to achieve? Could the treasure be? Ugh, too many unknowns. Unfortunately, the only clues we can rely on are the crystal source and that map. The more to the, the Boogly Woods to find it. That's the crystal star. Let's do it. Yes, I recommend you just do that. Try to find it before the princess beats each beats captures. Whatever their ultimate goal is, it can't be good. But don't be hasty. If you're low on items or health, drop by the shop and in first. I'll keep researching to learn more about the crystal stars and the ancient treasures. So, guys, I do need to get to part two somehow. But right now, I can't find out how to get to, like, the second part, but we will find out. So I'm going to stop it right here. That's going to wrap it up for Super Mario Party. Uh, I really need to say that. That's going to wrap it up for Paper Mario, the Elden Year Door. I've been recording for over four hours, but man, oh man, we have one that. I want to say chat. I hope you all enjoyed it. Ready for next episode. You don't need to be So you smack that like button, subscribe to me. And God bless. Thank you all. Please slap the like button. Because, dude, this took a long time for me to record. And... Hope y'all enjoy All right, party people, you know how we rock. Get out there on the dance floor and show Skylight what you got.